What's going on, gang? It's your boy Chris. I came back to 545 for the TV in the building. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm back working on my Chevy Tahoe, my 2008 LTZ V8 Chevy Tahoe. The issue I'm having are these. same issues if you are viewing this video um but i did find out what the issue is the issue is actually this my brake light switch i'm about to go into um auto zone now and purchase a new switch and i will be right back all right so we purchased our new part um it does come in the ac delco um, but I got the drawer last. That's what AutoZone sells. So we're gonna go ahead and snatch this old one off and snatch the new one on and see if it fixes our issue. All right, everybody. So we're gonna get this 10 millimeter screw loose here. I've already loosened it some because it's very difficult to do with one hand. All right, so we got the screw off. We're gonna disconnect the connector. Connect this disconnected. All right, everybody. Now we want to get to this clip. Try to get the clip off. It can be stubborn, but if you come from underneath it and pry it up, it comes right off. There we go. Finally got it off. From here, move this out. And the old part comes right off. All right, so here's the old part compared to the new part. Shake it out. Everything looks pretty much the same. All right, we're gonna pretty much put it back together the same way in reverse that we took it apart. 
So we want to put this on this way here. And we have to get it over this, the hole here has to go, this has to go over here. So we're gonna push down on the brake a little bit. There we go. Hopefully my camera caught that. All I did was push down the brake and it moved it. So we're gonna put the clip back on. All right, clip is back on. We're gonna take our 10 millimeter bolt. Here, feed it through here. I'm probably not gonna go through all this, but once we got the 10 millimeter on, we're gonna put our um, connector back on and then we'll be pretty much good to go. Um, the next thing is me driving and those error codes off and the traction control is now working. All right, now we're gonna start the car. So now we see that those errors are off. 